Hi, I'm Gene Cavassas. I'm out here in Phoenix visiting my mom, and I'm coming out to my dad's old retirement shop. It's a tiny little shed size, and my dad passed away about three years ago, and I've, most of the tools are gone, everything, but there's still some memories here. So I wanted to look and see what tools were in here and what I might be able to make from what's here that would be simple and fun to kind of play with. So. I decided to take just a two by four and see if I could cut something out and make it out of a single two by four. Now I know right now Rockwell has a two by four challenge and I may be able to join that, but for now, I just kind of want to play with this and see if it works. So I'm going to cut this stuff out, but it's a cool day in Phoenix, so it's only 106 outside. I don't have a lot of tools, but I do have noise-canceling earbuds, so I'm going to wear those and some of my safety glasses and see if I can get through cutting this out. I see he's got a, some clamps. I may be able to use that too, but if you hear the noise, that's the air conditioner running in the background because I'm going to need that just to survive. Here's my first one. This doesn't look straight, but it's okay. I don't want it to be. And now I can literally take this, this, that, and I'm gonna trace this. Basically, we've created something that has some curvature to it. Now I gotta do the same to that one. Okay, so I'm kind of at a point now where I've roughed my cuts out on this. So I'm gonna start trying to smooth these down a little and I want this to be rough, but so I'm going to use kind of a rasp on them to start taking the wood down the way I want so it still has a rough look to it. And like I say, I'm just kind of looking around my dad's old little shop here and, and seeing what I can find to use to do this. I did find, check this out, Prince Albert in a can. He really was in a can.
wire brush. So now I'm just going to take. Now that I pretty well have this part done, I'm going to want to put a clear coat on it and a strap through it, but I'm really pretty happy. Oh, and a foot on this, but I'm going to want to put a, a nice coat of lacquer on it. But before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and get started on this other one. And I want to make it maybe a little bit different if I can. So let's get started. <laughs> I just want to kind of take this now and and just kind of age it out a little bit, make it rough it out just a tad so it has a, a worn look to it. I think that's kind of fun and neat. Still going to let me pull some of those grains out of this a little bit. All right, I think I can wipe these down. And I think I can take them outside and put some lacquer. not bad and it says I can recoat in 30 minutes which is really good this is deaf uh, lacquer sanding between coats I still might but still it's a good start through. Do I feel like one's enough? What would be cool is to have it braided, but I'm just going to run one through there and maybe make it about that long. A pair of scissors. Cut that. Gives it kind of a, just a nice little 
extra handle with that. I'll do it to the other one. So I've got this pretty well put together. It's got my leather strap on it, a nice grip for holding on to, kind of the roughed out design, and the rubber shoe mount on the end. This thing should hold up and do really well. I'm excited to go do a little hiking with this. And I have two of them, so they're one's completely different design from the other one. If you like this video, check out some of these other videos I have, and in the meantime, I'll see you soon.